Hello, I'm Nimix. This is a documentary on the game circuits that I tasked. Its purpose is to demonstrate how the game was published with a serious bug and a simple fix that I'm applying to correct it. Situations like these are rare, but the magazine on occasion would issue fixes and subsequential issues with corrections in a section they call bug swatter. So let's get right to the demonstration. First off, let's watch circuit number two play all the way through. From my examination of the game, the maps are more than just a display of content. These maps were created for scanning so that the game can produce dynamic cases laid out for determining when changes occur. So basically, if five pyramids are placed on the screen, then the game will expect five of them to be destroyed. In the case of this circuit, take note that these pyramids are all attached at the end of an electrical pathway. Now, let's do this again, but this time I'm going to add another pyramid in an open space that is not attached to any pathway. Please note that the same inputs are being used to demonstrate this situation. Now that the original five have been destroyed, we see that the game is continuing without moving on to the next circuit, proving the fact that the game is dynamic and constructs logic to track the progress of each circuit's completion. Next, we are going to look at the original layout of circuit five. Here, we will allow the original inputs to complete the level. Now that it is complete, we see that the game is still running without returning to the first circuit. Let's try this once more with the patch needed at hex 1925 to remove the floating pyramid. Now we see that the game had a flaw that was never reported. Eric Haynes had probably tested this scenario out and probably made a last minute change before sending this to the publisher to fill in some blank spots to make the circuit look more full. Now you have the proof. I thank you for taking the time to watch and I hope you drop by to comment on the submission discussion thread. Have a good one. God bless.